Now, September is a National Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and a local nonprofit is hosting a fundraising event for a young El Pasoan battling cancer. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Tawny Davis got to talk to the family of a four-year-old boy in need of a transplant that he has to travel for to Fort Worth, Texas. Good evening, Tawny. Good evening, Carla Goldeld. El Paso's goal is to support families whose lives have been affected by childhood cancer. And today they were celebrating Samir Medina's birthday as he is set to go to Fort Worth for a transplant and in his next journey with his disease. Today was a partnership between Gold Out El Paso and Dia de los Pescados to fundraise for Samir Medina as he needs to go to Fort Worth for a transplant. The owner of the food truck has been a part of several fundraisers that support children who have been diagnosed with cancer, but it was a little girl that was closest to her that made her want to give back. She was the first one that made me want to help. I, when I first started my business, that's when her daughter was sick and um, she did unfortunately pass away. But I always wanted to do something for her. I just wasn't in the situation to help her at the time. But she's always in the back of my mind and I, I want to like to help children just like her. So she's, she's my inspiration. Gold Out El Paso wants to make sure that families don't have to worry about travel or medical expenses when it comes to their child and they want to spread their message across the borderland so that others can join in in the fight. So we fundraise year year round. Uh, sep September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Um, we want to make our community more aware, you know, turn El Paso gold the way they turn El Paso pink during October. Um, our children, they need to see our support, so that's what we do all year long. Samir's mother, Norma, is grateful to everyone who has supported her throughout this difficult time, even when she felt like she didn't need it and now will always look towards others for their strength. I feel very humbled and very blessed to have met each and every parent here. They're going through their own heartbreak, through their own battles, but they still have time to come. If you would like to know more about Samir's journey, you can read it on our website, ktsm.com. Live in the newsroom, Tony Davis, KTSM 9 News.